going on YouTube? Man, let me tell you guys, man. Today is your lucky day, guys. You know what I'm saying? You may not be leaving luck, but I'm going to tell you, man. Today is your day, guys. I'm telling you, man. Today is the day that you're going to learn how to set up a dual monitor stand. Man, just check it out. Look at that. Bam! Bam! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, what's going on here? Bam! Bam! Woo! Mind you guys, <laughs> these two monitors here, they don't match. The other ones do. These monitors are basically for, what do you call it? For pleasure? All right, that's for pleasure. That's somewhat pleasure, because, you know, I love doing video editing. But that one right there, that's all business, especially with the work laptop. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me let me relax in my chair real quick. All right. So, guys, the whole benefit of having a dual monitor is, one, it gives you table space. Plus, man, I tell you, man, it's just such a clean setup, guys. It is not, not just guys, ladies, too. No disrespect. It is such a clean setup to see your computer desk with an actual stand. I'm telling you, if you got two monitors and you have it on... The manufacturer stands, the little plastic joints, man, you're doing it wrong. Sometimes some of them, they come in the little metal ones, especially like HP, they do the little metal ones. But still, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong because it looks so unprofessional. This stand right here, guys, I think that was like, about, what, 40 bucks? Amazon? This stand right here, this one was roughly, I want to say the same thing, or maybe 45 And I got this one off of eBay, but only thing i don't like about this stand is that the base these uh legs these two legs right here it's too small however this amazon one the base it's 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 a heavy long plate base and let me tell you it is perfect perfect i'm telling you absolutely perfect baby much respect to everyone that watch my videos Hit that subscribe button right there, right now. Just click it. Just click that subscribe button right now, because if not, I guess we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to kill this video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys gonna have to figure out how to set up your dual monitor stands by yourself. <laughs> so guys, I pretty much make these videos because. And I make videos on PlayStation. <laughs> you make videos on PlayStation. <laughs> I make my YouTube videos because, you know, you guys inspire me, man. You guys inspire me. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great, happy feeling when I put a video out and somebody actually finds it useful, you know? It, it helps somebody, you know, figure out an issue. Uh, it helps somebody save money. This is pretty much my computer setup. It is a executive desk. L desk. See. Executive desk. Got two gaming keyboards. Let's show you. Yep, it's definitely dusty. Trust me, because I put that bad boy to work. This one, this was the first gaming uh, keyboard I got from my cousin. Shucks, man, I, I've been putting this thing into work, but now um, it's at the point that keys getting stuck um, which makes it hard because I also use it for my work whenever I am working I am using this keyboard and needing to type up emails and documentation you ain't gonna get it done with that with the key sticking um, so what I'm going to do is basically take this uh, spare monitor that I just threw here and I'm gonna put it on a dual monitor bracket it's gonna look crazy because this is what 22 no that's a 20 20 wide screen that's a 22 wide screen they're both different models but you know it is what it is I'm just gonna make do with what we have and eventually we'll be able to you know get a replacement monitor so Got this bad boy from Amazon. Amazon Prime. And got space. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's basically a bracket adapter. It's got these X adapters. So basically, what you do is the monitor. Say, for instance, this is the monitor. You you sit the monitor in here, and these 
clamp down on it and then here's where your visa plate will go it's for the monitors such as this one where it doesn't have that uh plate to install those holes to install a visa bracket this should be the dual monitor stand kind of show you what we got going on here of course it's like i got knobs and stuff but I never have my knobs. I actually need to have my knobs. It's always a, it's always a screwdriver that I have available. plate when it comes to those holes so this monitor right here does not have any way to install a hole so we're going to use that adapter but that monitor right there does you got your hardware screws now the screws depends on the monitor that's honestly what, what we're using on. This is some hardware for an allen keys for our actual um, This should be the actual one. So, let's go to the bottom of the Okay. Yep. So, these are the actual arms. <clears throat> so, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be like that. So, we got the base. These are like the feet. Uh, the feet on my other one is a bit more narrow. Get to work, baby. First thing is to get this pole mounted. It's a little tricky because you got these three screw holes, so you gotta kind of find something to help line it up and then get it installed. Here's this to kind of keep the thing from moving. Huh? Just take this Allen key. So I got got my screws They're pretty much going through. I'm gonna take this, take my Allen key and try to get this bad boy to install without making it fall. Get it to install without making it fall. Yep. Alright, so I got one. Looks like they got another one. And struggling with the last one. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I got got them all there. Let's go ahead and this is your cable cable tides. Cable. Oops, put that on first. Grab our arm. So this is our arm. So this is where your visa plate is going to mount on each side. So what we're going to do is pretty much mount this on here. Um, and this screw right here represents the back. So this will basically go like this with that screw being in the back. So that way you can easily adjust uh, this arm. So we're going to go ahead and take our Allen key and try to break it free. Get, uh, they really got this thing on here, man. It's so really tight. It's so tight. Alright, so the whole goal is to kind of identify yeah. how tall or how medium you want your arms to be. We'll roll it down. There she goes. And bring this up to here. Take my uh, tool, tighten her up. Oh, she went down on me. 
If you're having trouble that it keeps going down, just take a marker, mark here and there, and that way you'll know where you should be. But me, I'm gonna work with this. Kind of use my arm to keep it from going down, but I don't want to pinch my arm or fingers. So being careful. As you can see, our arm is pretty much straight flat. Pivot this, we can actually turn it this way, readjust it. You just gotta unloosen your uh, your screws. Um, unloosen those and let's see. So with this monitor, it's got the plate here. We just gotta push this down, and pop it out. There's a way to access these screws from somewhere. I gotta see exactly where. Sometimes you can just pop it off. Pull. In here, you got screws that you can just fill the screws and use and get the sucker off. It definitely makes a difference. You know, I also got a power gun thing. But today's gonna be it's gonna be the handy day. I do everything by hand today. Take this, put the uh, visa plate on the back. Uh, now. These screws, they're all based off of the monitor. So you kind of want to eyeball it to see how how far your screws are. You just want to eyeball it to see how far it is. Which also includes with this plate band on. I think I'm going to rock out with this. You know, you can do a washer too. It's always good to do washers. You can do a metal washer, metal washer, or plastic. It all depends. But I think this MC, MC is good enough for me. So we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, the washers basically protect uh, this thing from stripping. You know, the MCs are the shortest ones, and it seems like it's, it's perfect. All right, so I decided with these screws, I'm gonna use the plastic because uh, there's enough uh, thread on here. What I started to see is the back of the monitor, the plastic start to lift up, which is telling me that it's, uh, the screws are digging in too far. And that's absolutely perfect, like it's, it's perfect. It's spot on. Um, so these are the thickest and shorter screws. Now there's there's a was it the MB M dash B screws, which are thinner, which will be too thin for this monitor. So the M dash C are perfect. This monitor is technically ready for us to just slide in. But we're not gonna do that yet because we got this other kit that I have to figure out how to install on that. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff in here. Can't remove this because this thing is actually built in. Hmm, how's that gonna look? Let me see. All right, it's gonna be more more pounds. It's gonna look crazy, but I'm gonna use it because this this is a nice monitor. Believe it or not. So, oh, you know, what? Get it this is just ugly. This is ugly, ugly. Only way that's possible. There we go. A B C D E F. Some really small nuts. These are, I get it, so these are actually hooks. Then we got your brackets here. So these are the brackets. What's not included is the actual Visa bracket itself, that's not included. 
we're gonna do is grab ours from our. I'm gonna open this up. So this is for my actual dual monitor stand, which comes with that piece of plate. Let's take these up. So I want to make sure that. Ooh, there we go. Get everything simulated. Just getting everything situated. This visa bracket is that will allow me to figure out how this the stuff from and stuff. So it's got this little rubber garment here. Warner just sits here. This basically grips. Pretend my hand is the back of the monitor. So this thing is going to go on here. However, as you can see, this thing's got a little nipple there. You put that there. So therefore, this is going to go. This is the monitor is going to rest here. So therefore, I'm the back of the monitor. It's going to go like that with these facing forward towards the monitor. Alright, so it's gonna be D. It looks like we're working with D. So that's the smallest that I can see. So we're working with screw D, which is the smallest, some washers, and some very, very small ones. So it looks like I guess the washer is gonna go through here, through here. Yeah, I think so. I think I think that's how we're gonna do it. Is this gonna go here? Or is that gonna go here? Catch what I'm trying to say. Yep, it looks like the visa. This visa goes over this thing. So what we're going to do is put this through here like that. Take this, put that through here. It should be like that. Put a washer here on this other side. So got screw, washer, and then we got wash on the other side. And I'm gonna put the nut on this side here. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are able to see this doing there. Cause I'm not able to uh, really show you that well. And of course my phone is always going crazy. All right, so there we go. So, we got screw going through. We got a washer. All right, so you see screw, washer, and we got a washer and nut. And the visa plate is going over the bracket. And this little nipple thing is going facing forward. Alright guys, this is very, very, very time consuming. What I did is I took a uh, permanent marker and I drew on the back. I drew some, you know, I pre-fitted it on the monitor. Then I just outlined uh, this, the location. And I'm just trying to get everything tightened up by hand. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try to pre-fit. Now I'm gonna take this marker. Looks somewhat okay. Probably would have been better and much easier to see if I had like a, um, you know, like a whiteout. I'll just use that and I can easily identify it. So now what I'm gonna do is use my needle nose, grab the screw, 
hold down on that screw. And I'm right hand, so this is awkward. And then use my socket to tighten it down. Now you gotta be careful because you don't want this thing, you don't want the arm to smack against something and then make it move. So since this whole thing just moved, I'm gonna readjust, hold it down, tighten again. And you want it to be tight so that when you go to the other arm, it doesn't realign for them. I would say if you do install this, flip the screws around. See how I have, this is the uh, visa plate we got the flat side of the screw. I believe if you switch the screw around this way, that will allow you to actually have it flat down on here. You can take your pliers and lock on this screw head with you flipping around. Screw head and then you'll have the nut here. This should be a bit more easier. These things just go right in here. Just Put the screw through to keep it secure. And this is a, these are some long screws, I'll tell you that for a fact. Let's see. Let's see screw. So I think what, what we need to do is flip it around, install the screws like so. so I think it's going to go this way. That way it doesn't fall out. Let's try that one. Yep. Lesson learned. Mount this thing here and then put the screw through, through the hole and then install. Flip it around, get it to mount on the monitor. Uh oh, spaghettios. So now we're going to do. Tighten it up. Still by hand. Just trying to get it tight. Like just get this thing, get the axe to be snug. heavy to the far right we have uh, this screw here and this basically allows you to install that visa plate what we're gonna do is basically with these channels this channel here we're gonna slide it through slide it through there take this and just slide it through do that take this prop that down there I'm gonna do the same thing with this one put this thing down yeah I'm gonna have to uh, definitely gonna have to get a new monitor I'll take this let's see if this will balance the weight let's see is it balancing the weight? Heck yeah. I'm gonna back up. When I loose just a little bit so that way I can kinda there we go. Now let's see. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Turn it back up. There we go. Deep. So you got your uh these things are your little cable hooks. We'll just spin them around so that way I can 
put a K over there. Yeah. See what's in the box. I already know. It's my key card. Uh, I never have. Never got my knife when I was ready. I'll open it up. Never do. Never do. Still in packaging. So the way I'm looking at it is that this was definitely that. Just look at this thing. We got it plugged up to the computer. What I'm gonna do is figure out how to get this bad boy to snap in. These little tab here, and then just press in. Shoot it. Pushing. All right, guys. So this is the new keyboard. Um, it's a beauty. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off so you guys can see it. This is the keyboard. It's just basically a white backlight. Uh, let me turn this monitor off so you guys can kind of see a little bit more. So it's it's very subtle. It's not like colorful crazy, but it's just cool because I I I, I want that for just pretty much the computer that I use for doing video editing. Now this is the keyboard that you guys were pretty much kind of looking at for um, you know that beautiful color theme and this is the gaming keyboard for my gaming PC and I can pretty much change, you know, change my options. And with this, you can pretty much configure. So I got these keys red, um, and then other keys blue, and I can change it around too. But let me just go back to the basic thing. All right, guys, quick update. We got the dual monitor installed, stand installed, keyboard installed, laptop here. Got my other monitors there. So four monitors total. Everything is absolutely clean looking far better than what I had before, which uh, my previous installation was a monitor on a box. It was ugly. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know. Peace.